Many outstanding automotive executives fill the pages of Driven, a tribute to African-American achievement in the automotive industry. They are car designers, advertising and marketing executives, automotive suppliers and dealers, and they are in the race car industry. Regardless of their path, they all have one thing in common. They are perfect role models who strive for excellence. Driven. I was taught, do your best, work hard. And every day, you're not always 100% successful at that, but that's the energy that I have when I get up. What am I gonna get done today? How am I gonna make a difference? And because I'm a lawyer, what problems am I going to solve today? GM's Michael Burton, the current Global Director of Interior Design for Buick. That's all of Buick Worldwide. Burton previously worked at Chrysler. There, he was the first African-American designer ever. Global Hue Advertising Agency's Executive Vice President, Detavio Samuel. Kamatni Rollins rolls out specialty cars to megawatt entertainers. Car designer Crystal Wyndham, who was recently made the design director of interiors for Chevy passenger cars and small SUVs, was previously the first African-American female director of GM North American Passenger Car Design. Minority automotive suppliers are also major players in the industry. Lewis E. James is the president and CEO of MCL Jasco. We're involved in everything before it becomes a finished product. And that's what you usually see driven is a car. But everything that goes into getting that finished product is what we're involved in. The man with the memorable name, Sylvester Hester, is Vice Chairman and Chief Operating Officer of Global Automotive Alliance, where he manages $80 million in business. Once destined to follow in his father's footsteps working at General Motors, his career path changed after meeting business tycoon and mentor, Dr. William F. Picard, owner of the conglomerate. Sean Thompson, Ford Motor Company's multicultural marketing manager was a trailblazer in the area of social media. She was credited for introducing the first Twitter site to Ford's customer service. Eddie L. Wright is the North American category manager of supply chain services for Delphi Automotive. He manages the company's North American logistics providers, representing an annual spend of more than $150 million. Wright's colleague, Lincoln Tomlinson, is the CFO of Delphi Asia Pacific and Delphi Connection Systems. Based in Shanghai and always on the go, over a three-year period, Tomlinson's travels landed him in 15 countries. Pastor Douglas P. Jones of Welcome Baptist Church in Pontiac is the only African-American director of the Dream Cruise. This is my first opportunity to uh, be in the magazine Driven, and so I'm pretty excited about it. I think it does a lot to capture the history of the automobile, and even more than that, it captures the people who have been involved Charles Burns is the general manager of the Chevrolet Detroit Belle Isle Grand Prix. Previously having worked for the Indy Car Series and the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Burns has earned national and international respect as one of the most knowledgeable, experienced, and savvy figures in motorsports. Eugene Mitch Mitchell is the head of Chrysler's Minority Dealer and Market Investment Programs. A retired Army officer and commander, he has been instrumental in instituting Chrysler's Dealer Candidate Development Program that trains minority dealerships in all facets of ownership and management. Harold Martin is the founder and owner of Martin Technologies, Martin Motorsports, and Martin Racing. A former engineer at General Motors, he holds 10 international patents. He races in a car that he designed and built himself the Martin One. The car can go from zero to 60 in under a second. The new president of Tier 10 Marketing, an industry leader in automotive marketing, sports, and entertainment, Justin Bird's energy is palpable. I'm just dedicated and focused on the passion and the driven that's inside of me. 
Deborah L. Young, R.L. Polk's Vice President of Human Resources for North America, believes that a company's success begins and ends with its people. With Young at the helm, Polk has been recognized for its innovative and creative HR practices, including being named by Cranes as a cool place to work. Lewis Green creates opportunities for minority-owned businesses to partner with the nation's top corporations, especially the automotive industry. Under his leadership, minority-owned businesses have obtained $120 billion in contracts. You can read more about these and other automotive executives in the pages of Driven, a tribute to African-American achievement in the automotive industry.